Hello and welcome to the next in the series of product design and manufacturing collections, Inventor Add-ins. Next up we have Inventor Cam. In this presentation we're going to be focusing on Inventor Cam, which is an embedded application inside Autodesk Inventor. Now we're going to look at the setup. First off we're going to take the triad and specify the bottom left hand corner as our starting position for all machine tooling. Specifying the axis direction, ensuring that our product is placed in the correct orientation. Inventor has already created a stock around our component, however it's essential we can adjust this so we can accurately represent our stock dimensions. Next up we're going to look at the 2D milling and how easy it is to set up your paths with inside Inventor Cam. And we're going to start off with the face tool. Now by selecting the face tool, our options will change on the left hand side. Specify a tool which is already in my pick list. Select the face or the path in which you want to profile. Click OK and you're done. And just to check this is OK, let's put it straight into simulation and see what that looks like. Currently my settings are to material, but let's have a look at the stock and introduce the stock so we can see it actually cutting away to reveal our product. This is a great first step to ensure that we have everything set up correctly. Now we're happy with this, let's get on to adding our 2D milling tools. Now let's take a look at the drill tool found in the drilling section of the ribbon. We have four 10mm holes on our part, so let's start off by selecting a 10mm drill piece. And once we selected that, we can select the hole, but we don't want to go around and select everything, so let's select the same diameter, and InventorCam will automatically go off and select those holes for us. We can then check the depths, the starting planes. We can also look to see where the holes are going to finish drilling. Now let's adjust our drill depth. We can do this manually or by selecting this automatic tick button to drill through our component's bottom. Click OK to complete our drill tooling path. Now moving the component round, we're going to take a look at the 2D contour in the 2D milling section. So we're going to use the 2D contour on the outer edge, so we're going to look for a larger tool to quickly subtract that material. There are many predefined toolings available to you within the library, and you can load in your own tooling if required. Once specified the path, we click OK, and that is our tooling path for the outer edge specified. Now let's use the 2D pocket tool. Similar to the contour earlier, we're going to select the tool first, but this time we're going to select a smaller tool. This will allow us to do the smaller and finer details in our component with just one pass. Now let's check we've got the right heights for our tooling, and to wait a split second for our tool path to generate. Last up, we're going to use the 2D contour again to do our chamfered edges. Similar to the last process, we select our tool and then proceed to go and select all of our geometry, making sure to select the correct profiles for our cuts. Now it's time to simulate the results. Let's find out if there's any errors within our tooling. Whilst playing the simulation, it's easy to see that the second contour has been selected incorrectly and has failed to cut the edges of our component. Now we jump back and edit the contour, it's easy to see that the wrong profile has been selected for the path. By changing this and rerunning the simulation, we can now see, quick and easily, that the edit to that contour has fixed our issue with the outside edge. And I'm now happy to send this to the shop floor for checking. Using the post processor tool, we can send the post processor code as an NC file straight to the shop floor, allowing them to check the code and make sure everything is correct. I hope you found this session useful. Please join me next week for the product design and manufacturing collection Inventor Add-ins Nesting. Thank you.